All right, so here we have a question that says, what is the ventricular rate of the following rhythm? Okay, and you have that rhythm below here, and this is a rhythm that says it's coming from a standard 12 lead ECG, which is gonna be helpful for finding the rate here, okay? Now, one thing you have to note, we're looking for the ventricular rate, okay? So the ventricles, uh, you can either find them when they're depolarizing or repolarizing, and there's a few features we can uh, get from this. So remember, when we're talking about ventricular rate, we can use the QRS complexes, which represent ventricular depolarization, or you have the T waves, which represent ventricular repolarization. And I mentioned both because you'll see here uh, that if we do the T waves, we may actually have a rate that's a little faster and may miss one, all right? Now, if we were looking for the atrial rate, so if we had another question that asked for the atrial rate, you would do the P waves. You'd be looking at the P waves. Now, if you notice on the standard ECG, most machines will give you the ventricular rate, but not the atrial rate. And I really focus when I teach my students about this is because we'll notice that the machine is not always correct. And that's why I don't want you to become highly dependent on what the machine gives you uh, for all of these, whether it's the axis or the rate or anything else. So that's why I want you to be able to do this on your own, okay? So here we have a rhythm, okay? And you'll notice we have a regular rhythm, okay? So regularity, that was another sort of uh, thing that we'll look at, but regularity is simply when we look at these waves, are they having the same interval throughout? So uh, one way we could do this, take these S waves, which are deep here, okay? Here's one S wave to the next, and this is the S to S interval. You may also hear the R to R interval from this wave to the next one, okay? Now, it doesn't matter which one you use, the R to R to S to S, the S waves are clearest to make out, so we'll use that, and you'll notice that these S to S intervals are the same, okay? Now, that's helpful because it gives us a few ways we can find the rate. So, we have a regular rhythm, okay? And because we have a regular rhythm, we can use two waves to find the ventricular rate, okay? So, remember, ventricular rate, in this case, we'll look at both the QRS complexes and T waves, okay? So, the QRS complexes, you'll notice here, and one other thing we mentioned earlier was that we have a standard 12 lead ECG, and why is that helpful? Well, remember, from beginning all the way to the end of our standard 12 lead represents 10 seconds, okay? And if you multiply that by six, is 60 seconds, okay? So 60 seconds, that means if you count the complexes going across and you multiply it uh, by six, it'll give you uh, the number of beats per minute. Remember, 60 seconds equals one minute, okay? And um, how, what do I mean? Why does that come about? Well, if you imagine this is one ECG that we're looking at, so one rhythm strip from one ECG, and that whole ECG is 10 seconds, okay? Now imagine that we had six right next to it, okay? That's five and six, okay? Each one representing 10 seconds. And you can see if you added them up, this whole thing here would represent 60 seconds. And that's where we get multiplying it by six because you see one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So we're gonna now count the complexes going across, all right? And here we'll use these QRS complexes. Let's just erase this to clear it up. Okay, and then we'll count the QRS complexes and then we'll look at also um, the T waves. Okay, so here's a QRS complex. So there's one, okay, here's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we have nine going across. So imagine you have nine on these three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and we're going to do nine times six is 54, okay? And that means you would eventually have nine on here, nine on here, nine on here, nine on here, and nine on here. And that's where you get that 54 from, okay? So one estimate of the ventricular rate that we have so far, so we'll write it here, one estimate is 54 beats per minute, okay? Now, what if we did that same method, but we use the T waves, okay? So we'll take this off here, because remember, the T waves, we all, you won't hear people using them much, but they also are a ventricular part of the complex, so we can use that as well. You notice this is a T wave here, okay? That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you'll notice there's actually one here, so there were 10, okay? So in this case, you would do 10 times six, 
which is 60 beats per minute. Okay, you can so you can see there's maybe a slight difference, but the ventricular weight rate will be somewhere between 54 beats per minute and 60 beats per minute. Okay, so somewhere between there. And the actual one on the machine actually gave us 57. So you can see it's right there. So that would get us and put us right here for that choice. Now there's one other way I want to quickly show you how to find the rate, and this one can only be done with regular rhythms, the one I'm going to show you, okay? But this first one, you can use for both irregular and regular rhythms. So when we have a regular rhythm, there's one way we'll look at how else to find it, okay? And that has to do with finding one of these ventricular complexes that falls on one of the thick lines, okay? And we can use this one here. Notice that it falls right here on that line, okay? And we're going to find the next QRS complex, the S wave. Okay, and now we're going to count those thick lines between it. Okay, so here's one, here's two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's just over five, and what you would do is 300 divided by five, okay, is 60 beats per minute. But because it's a little more than five, you can see that it's going to be less than 60. Okay, but close enough to 60, that's pretty much what we got here with that first one. And you may be wondering, where do we get those 300 boxes from? Okay, well, what you would get them from is by knowing that if you were to take the beginning of this and count all of these thick lines up until um, six ECGs, so you, again, you had the six ECGs, and you counted all those thick lines between them, you would get um, 300, okay? And you're going to then divide that by the number of thick lines. Now, with faster rhythms, you may hear using 1,500, and you would divide that by the small boxes. And that's simply because each of these thick lines here, from one to the other, contains five small boxes. And that's where that 1,500 comes from, 300 times five, okay? So again, this is the ventricular rate, so we're focusing on ventricular complexes. We know that the standard ECG is 10 seconds. We, we count them up, multiply by 6, we get an estimate of the rate, okay? We have an also a regular rhythm that we mentioned, okay? So we mentioned we can find one that falls on a thick line, find the next one, divided by the number of thick lines between it. We saw it was slightly less than 60 beats per minute, and again, putting us between uh, 40 to 80 beats per minute as our answer, all right? Well, that's the end of this lecture. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below if you like what we're doing. In fact, many of you have asked how you could help us out. Really, the best way you could do is simply subscribe and share this resource with your friends. And you get free access to more than 300 videos. There is also a community of over 270,000 of us like-minded individuals on Facebook. So stop over and join the EKG Guys uh, Facebook community. Many of you have also asked some questions. Leave them below or share them on Facebook, and we can try to answer them with a short video so everyone else can learn. We also have a number of new courses with corresponding videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for those. Last but certainly not least, your feedback is incredibly helpful and your kind words are always an encouragement on those long days. So let us know how we're doing. Thank you again for your support. It is truly appreciated. We are the largest, fastest growing EKG resource in the world.